hey what's up you guys welcome back to another one of jennifer's corner videos i haven't made one of these videos in a while and i just feel like it's about that time um yeah so judging by the title you know i'm gonna be talking about sex but not like in a whole extra sexy way it's just like we're gonna talk so um my sister Catherine has got me into a show called the bold type and there was an episode that i saw um i was watching with her that was geared towards um having unwanted consensual sex right like just thinking about your past experiences and stuff and i was saying to myself i've i've been that girl you know like i've been the person who's had sex when they didn't want to consensual sex and i think it's very and i only reason why i was kind of um nervous to talk about this topic is because it's sex is such a, sen a, a sensitive topic and the the there's a line that people uh, I don't want this to be extra controversial, but there's a line that people like to play with, and I don't think it's funny at all. It's that line where you have consensual sex, you regret it later, and then somebody wants to be like, oh, he he violated me. And didn't want to just take accountability and then realize, okay, it was just, it was just I didn't want to, but I went through it with it anyway, right? So I'm talking about that end of the spectrum, not the part where you're trying to blame it on the guy and act like it's his fault. That's not cool. So... Let me get real, real back in. Okay, so I feel like a lot of women and girls and women have been in situations where um, they they say okay to having sex. They they consent to it. And it's not always because they want to. It's kind of like situational. I think ultimately you find yourself in these situations and they stem from not really having a voice or not knowing how to use your voice. Um, and that's that's like you have to unpack a lot of stuff when you think about when you try to go and dig, dig deep into finding out why you find yourself in these situations it's really because and I'm, let me just start off talking for or speaking on um the way some girls and some women think um I'm not trying to be an advocate but this is just how you can pass it could it could work out this way whatever i'm not trying to i'm not trying to like blame the guy it's, i'm not doing that but just use the situation as, as an example. So say you're like around the guy already and they kind of hint towards wanting to do something more. And then in your head as a girl, you're thinking like, I mean, I already kiss him. Or like, man, I'm already here. Might as well. And not like, um, like looking forward to it. It's like, cause you don't want to cause a scene. And that's what, I, that's what I'm getting at. Like a lot of girls coming up, um, they don't know how to, use their voice and me I will say I do wish I would have learned that at a younger age but it's this is so weird and so sensitive and I just low-key don't want to talk about this but you find yourself in a situation because you don't necessarily have a voice and then you start to feel you start to think about all the I guess all the ways things could go wrong right what if you make a scene and then the guy gets mad or something? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if you say no, right? This is how girls think. You say no, and then what if he get violent and bust your ass? What? What? What you gonna do, right? And then what if you hurt his feelings? Or like, what if he doesn't like you anymore? Like those. These are the things as girls coming up. That's what plays in your head and when you're in these situations or whatever. And that's what comes with even doing little things like impressing guys. Like, we, I, if, ugh, it's just so frustrating because just like growing up and even now as an adult, young Kathy and like, and I'm putting young Kathy in the category with a lot of the girls growing up now, you know. That should not be your main focus, you know? If you're in a situation where you don't want to do something, just say no, right? But in our heads, it's just like, oh, if I say no, then this, or then he going to say I did something with him anyway, and then there's going to be rumors around the school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's always something in the back of your head that's going to be like, I might as well do it because if I don't, this is going to happen, you know? And then you're left to feel all confused. Then you feel like, Ugh. You know, just feeling bad about yourself, then you feel gross, then you cry, then you go through all these emotions just like you didn't want to do it in the first place and now you're stuck in some 
some roller coaster of emotions in your head. And that is just so that's such a weird place to be in, especially because you already already uncomfortable. And if you think about it, women and girls are already conditioned in a sense to feel like your discomfort is not as important as making him feel good, you know? And I and that's what I'm saying. I don't want to just put this about oh like girl, I mean men are such trash and boys are so trash. I'm not doing that, but just like I can only really speak on behalf of women because I am one, you know. I think it all that goes back to having these type of conversations with young girls coming up, um, and and boys, you know, like what true consent is and how to use your voice and knowing yourself, knowing your body. Like I think that's that's I think to have a sex talk because I've never had a I've never had a um, a sit down sex talk with my parents. I don't know if that's just a, a West Indian or Caribbean thing. I don't know, but I've all I know about sex honestly was don't do it. If you do it and you bring home babies, I'm not raising it like those type of things. Right, and there's no shade to my parents. It's just like we just never had those type of conversations. You learn about it in sex, and then I mean learn about sex. You learn about it through your peers, you know, and. That's not happening because they don't know what the hell they're doing either. So it's just, <laughs> it's, it's just, you let life teach you. But if you can, it, it starts, it starts at home, you know. So, or it just starts with people who who want to want the best for you and then are okay with having those type of conversations, you know. A part of me wonders if guys find themselves in those type of situations too, where they just feel like, all right, well, the girl here already and have. In a sense, have pity sex with a girl that they don't want to, they're not attracted to or they don't necessarily want to have sex with her, but because she's here, just like, might as well. You know what I'm saying? You can really find yourself having unwanted sex because you feel bad, because you, you're you scared, or because you just don't want to make a scene. And we're taught as, as young girls not to make a scene. Don't be rude. Oh, don't make him think that you are one of these stuck up girls. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't want to have sex with somebody, just say no, you know? And then, and, and even if the person is like, come on, you know how you know how you know how some guys are like, come on, not even, just a, just a tip or something, you know, stupid, 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 shit. and then you end up having sex, like full on sex with them. You don't want to do nothing. Tell us, oh, just a tip. That don't work. That does not work. If a little if a little boy trying to tell you, oh, let me just put the tip. No, no. If I was your auntie, because I, I ain't nobody mama, but like, if I'm your, if I was your big cousin or your auntie or something, and you came to me and you said how, oh, but he said, uh, no, no, because I, because I'm trying to think, could I have went to one of my older sisters and, and had those conversations? It's like, I, I, I was never comfortable. So like, if I could. I guess do my part and be big cousin or like Auntie Kathy or whatever and have those conversations with, with somebody who was like one of my nieces and nephews and stuff. Hell yeah, well, I would tell them, you know, like give you some real, some real life, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, real life situations. If you were in a situation where you're, you're in the in the middle of having sex and you say no and a guy, the guy could possibly be like, oh, okay, okay, whatever, whatever, like, you know what I'm saying, show concern and then stop. That's a cool, that's a, that's a, that's a guy who, who to some extent gives a you know. Um, but if he tries to be like, nah, come on, let's just finish real quick. I was almost there. Like, no, no, because once you, once you change your mind, that's it. That's it. So they can't be like, this, and, and this is, this is what, this is such a, a, a thin line because. In my head, the way it works, the the way my mind makes me feel, the way it works, we could be in the middle of having sex, and I say to you, Nah, I don't, I don't want to do it no more, and I'm dead serious. Like, I don't get off me. <laughs> no, I'm laughing, but it's not funny. Like we could be in the middle of having sex, and I say, I don't want to do it some more. Like, let's just stop. And he he could be in my ear, whoever the guy may be, whatever it could be like. No, let's just finish real quick. I was almost there. And I'm saying, no, I don't want to do this. And then he keep going. What is the law going to say? 
So it's best for you to just say just say no from the beginning. If you're in the middle of it, guys, if a girl's in the middle of having sex with you and she say no, get up off of her. You know what I'm saying? Like just just avoid this situation altogether. Like just just don't. So like say you go on a first date with somebody and you feel like it went cool or whatever, and then he played a little trick. Oh, let me go back to my um I gotta drive back to my house real quick. I left my ID. Now you find yourself back in his crib and he's like you know, we should probably just chill here instead of drawing to movies. We could just watch something on Netflix. And it, like, you see what I'm saying? So you find yourself like, oh, okay, I thought I was going to go out, have something to eat, go watch a movie, and then boom, I'm I'm home. Cool. But now I'm like, all of a sudden, you find yourself in a situation where it's like, oh, he was my ride home. Who am I going to call? It's 11 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are the things that go through people's heads and it's feel like, okay, if I don't do this, he's not going to take me home. Then what? It's it's a it's honestly a scare like I'm I'm like like snickering and laughing and stuff but this is honestly not funny like it's it's a very scary and vulnerable place to be in and even if that was a situation you make sure you got money you like you do not go on no dates <laughs> then this is starting to be a disclaimer video don't go on no dates without no cash in your pocket and not a second way home you know what I'm saying like stuff like this is a conversation that people need to people need to have you know like I know I know girls have they little code set up like okay if I call your phone a certain way or I send you a text or whatever come get me because I'm trying to go or whatever you know what I'm saying like you have have a way out you know but even with that it's just like it's sometimes you still find yourself in those situations it's just unwanted says you just don't know when it's going to happen but you just try not to put yourself in those situations so it could happen you know um and that goes for both ways um girls and guys so I would like to keep this conversation going. Hopefully it was interesting enough for you guys to watch the end of, watch the end of this video. If you are still here, thank you. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave comments, share this video, do all the YouTube, social media thing. Follow me on my, um, my all my platforms or whatever. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.